Okay, the next section we're going to talk about is understanding memory speeds. There's a lot of things that go into the speed of a system and how uh, memory affects it, um, but there's not a ton of things that when we talk about an individual stick uh, of RAM, uh, what affects the speed on a memory stick. So that's our section now is understanding memory speed. Now, uh, the number of spots in a computer to put in RAM affects the number of slots here, affects how much RAM we can put in it, but the number does not affect the speed of the RAM that we put in it. If it has two slots, if it has four slots, if it has eight slots, that doesn't change the speed of the RAM. The motherboard does and the architecture that it uses definitely does, but the amount of RAM doesn't affect the speed of RAM. I want to make sure that's clear. The amount of RAM can affect the speed of the overall system um, because the more RAM it has, to an extent, the faster the PC will go. Um, RAM itself is specified by generation and, um, and the actual megahertz of the RAM itself. This is a motherboard spec that you guys have looked at before. Uh, on this particular motherboard, it says this is the kind of RAM it takes. Uh, the RAM it takes goes up to 433 megahertz, that's 4.133 billion cycles per second or 4,133 million cycles per second that that RAM can go at. It can also take 4,000, 3,866, all the way down, and all these are overclocked, you can see, all the way down to the fastest uh, or the slowest it takes is 2133 for this particular motherboard. You can also see the native speed of this particular motherboard's RAM is 2133. Everything else is an overclocked speed for this motherboard. Also, it takes four. Uh, the generation is DDR4. Uh, it has four slots and it takes up to 64 gigs, so you can do the math there. 64 divided by four means that each slot uh, can take 16 gig sticks. And we'll talk about this later, it supports dual channel memory architecture. Now, when we look at that, uh, we wanna talk about what that means and what part of these, uh, of this list really makes a difference on memory speed. So speed is rated in megahertz or the PC rating. We're gonna talk about that a little bit. Most of the time we talk about it in megahertz. Um, how much memory installed does not affect the speed of memory. It affects, it affects the overall speed of the system. The memory technology that uses on it, the clock rating, and what kind of parity it uses. We're going to talk about all those things that affect uh, memory speeds. So, when we talk about speed itself of a stick, these are the four things that really affect us the most. It's measured in megahertz. We've already said that. So, this stick of DDR4-2400 moves at 2400 megahertz. It's a fourth generation stick. That's why it says DDR4. And that PC rating, that's this over here. PC4 means it's fourth generation and it's got a rating of 19,200. That corresponds with this speed. Um, really, we just talk about the megahertz uh, when we're talking about it. Uh, and then we'll talk about the architecture and some of those other things that are listed on this list uh, here as we go. So, first of all, the megahertz. In general, higher is always better. Uh, the faster your memory speed is, uh, the faster the CPU can talk to it, the faster it goes around the motherboard. Now, I say in general because, as I've said before, overclocking can cause an unstable system on some motherboards. So in the case of this specific motherboard, the fastest non-overclocked is 3200 megahertz. Um, and my personal preference is to get the fastest non-overclocked speed. That's a personal preference, and, and that's because I work in an uh, uh, enterprise environment at your home system, if you're building a system at home that you're just gaming on, going into this higher range of overclocking um, can improve the performance on your system. So, um, first thing, megahertz means faster. And when we compare sticks, we, can, we have to first compare megahertz. Unlike when we talked about CPUs that megahertz wasn't everything, in general, on the, in the case of memory, 
It pretty much is. We're going to talk about a couple other things that slow down memory or, or, or make it so we can compare two sticks of RAM at the same megahertz. But if we're comparing one that's, for instance, 3200 with one that's 2133, there is no comparison. The 3200, I don't have to look at anything else. It's faster if I get it than if I get 2100, no matter what the underlying other architecture things that we're going to talk about. These other things that we talk about only are if we're, we've got two 3206 that we're comparing and trying to decide which one do I buy. Price is obviously important, but there's some other things to look at as well that determine the overall speed. So here's a, a good example. So I've got this, this machine that goes up to 3200 uh, on non-overclocked, and I'm looking at this RAM right here that's uh, 3200 that would go into that system. It would give me the max amount of memory for this system. The system's uh, rated to go up to 120 gigabytes of RAM, and this uh, pack of RAM, it's a four pack of 32s, four times 32 gig, um, costs $579. Is that the fastest non-overclocked and the most RAM I can get for my system? Yes. If I had an unlimited amount of money, uh, would this give me the fastest system it could? Probably. Um, and I say that because there's a point where um, you're wasting money on RAM. And we're at that point right now with 128 gig. There's no system, there's no program that you're gonna play at home that's gonna utilize 128 gigabytes of RAM uh, while you're playing Minecraft or whatever. Um, so yes, it's the fastest speed. Um, do I need to go this far to build a home PC? And the answer of that is no. We're gonna look at some of these other things on this list too, as we go along here um, to talk about how those things affect the speed. But in conclusion, when we look at speed, uh, when we talk about the speed of a stick of RAM, megahertz is the single only thing to compare. After that, if we're looking at through two of the same speed, we have one other thing that we can look at that says, uh, actually two other things we can look at that says, how fast is this RAM or which one of these is faster?